Uh, today I want to show you a new feature of Big Stitcher, which is that it finally supports N5, the file format. And this was developed by Stefan Saalfeld. Here you see the GitHub link if you want to learn more about it. And it, is, it stands for not HDF5 because it has certain advantages over HDF5. So far, Big Stitcher only used that one, HDF5, uh, to store multi resolution permits. This was originally um, not a format, but the implementation uh, that Big Data Viewer uses was developed by Tobias Peach. Uh, the problem it has is that it cannot be written in parallel. So N5 can be written in parallel, and there are more advantages to it. And uh, I just uh, kind of uh, want to show you here this web page. You can read yourself. Also, contact Stefan Seifert, who is the author of this. The cool thing is, in Big Stitcher, you cannot choose HDL5, N5, your call. So, um, I just wanted to show you this here. Now let's get started. So, uh, we go to Plugins, Big Stitcher, Big Stitcher. So, now when you define a new data set, you basically can choose uh, to save it as N5. And there are two ways how to resave as N5, and I will show you both of them now. Okay, let's assume you do not have any data set, you want to define a new one. So you can use the automatic loader as you may be used to. You press OK, and now it asks you for the path uh, where you want to uh, define your data set that we later then resave. So I have that data set here. And uh, we go into this folder. So this is six image tiles that are arranged in a grid. And I already defined a TIFF data set. We're going to use this later. But we now basically want to load these images. So and each of them is a tile. So for now, I'm going to just drop one of them in here. But of course, we want all files in this directory. So and um, it finds all of them. It also finds this data set TIFF, uh, which is simply because um, it is bigger than 10 KB. So there are two ways to unselect this one. So as you know, they all start, they all start dot TIFF, right? So we would get them. But Sometimes it's simple to say, okay, we need at least a megabyte. Don't consider other images. Okay, so now we have our data set uh, prepared, all the files that should be part of it. We go on. It asks us there are three channels or illuminations within that within these files. Bioformats detect that. It is channels, it's not illuminations. And there's one numerical pattern it found, uh, which is here. And each of them is actually an image tile. We know that, right? So we have to tell them that, that it's an image tile. Okay, so uh, now we want to modify the boxes. I've actually not written correctly, and I also don't know the precise one, but this one is about right. And afterwards, we want to move the tiles to an interact uh, to a grid interactively because it's also not it should be stored in metadata, but here it's not. Okay, by that we have the data set defined, and now comes the important question: the how do we hold the data when we work with it? We could resave it as HDF5. That's the option that was always there. We can resave it N5. We can resave. We're not resave and load it virtually, and on top of it, use the image lib to cache to cache the whole thing, or just load the raw data as always. So this one really doesn't make sense. It might be for some cases, but if you actually want to work with the data, you want to use HDA5, N5, or with caching if it's very small. So in this case, uh, I suggest not to use N5. However, we just edited it. That's why I didn't make it the default because HDA5 is has been used for many years now and we know it works. N5, I just added, there could be some bugs that I don't hope so, but that's why it's not uh, the default as of yet. So now we create, uh, we say resave it as N5, we do OK. It asks us about uh, the compression we want to use for each block, so it really saves each image into little blocks of different resolutions. So it suggests to do it at these uh, subsamplings, that's full resolution, 1, 1, 1, and then 2L times downsampled and X, 2 times downsampled and Y, not downsampled and X. And the block size is 128, 128, 64. So they're a bit bigger than you're used to from HDL5, just simply because each file, each block is actually an individual file on the disk. These are reasonable parameters, but you might want to adjust them if your images are way bigger or way smaller. So that's up to you. Gzip zips really every block, which is great because it saves space, but of course it takes compute. You might want to use raw if speed is your major concern. But usually gzip is the best option. And it can do this now because we can write in parallel. We can do this in parallel, so it suggests usually half of the CPUs that you have. Let's feel free to adjust this as you want. Okay. I'll put this up here so we can see how fast this actually runs. So now we have 18 images, six images and three channels each, and it resaves them rather rapidly. Of course, for large data sets, this will still be slower. And in the future, I will show you how to do this on the cluster. 
So uh, that option I'm currently working on and will be uh, released soon. So and now it has been resaved as HDF5 uh, as N5. Sorry, of course it's N5. And uh, just uh, since we're there, now uh, we set to put it in a certain grid. In this case, it's a simple two by three grid, and then we're done. And our data set is available in beautiful N5 multi-resolution loading. And done. The second option is uh, to uh, not save it initially, and this I will show you now. So I close this now everything, and therefore I did uh, the TIFF uh, dataset before. So we just uh, open the dataset TIFF that I made before. So this one is not resaved yet. This is something you could do too. Maybe you want to first look at the data before you decide uh, to, to 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 resave it. So this is kind of slow, but it loads it virtually, so it's still okay. If you're actually not sure what kind of image loader you're currently using, you can press here on info, and the info will tell you what kind of image loader you're using. So this is a bioformance-based loci image loader, and now we could basically go here and say, sorry, let me move this up, select everything that's important, it will only resave the ones you selected. So that's actually if you go to resave this way, you can actually say, I only want one channel, I only want the first 50 time points, and so on and so on. Or if you did uh, illumination selection first, right, uh, this is a feature of Big Stitcher for very large clear data sets, it, you could, for example, say all the um, illumination actions that I did not select, I don't want to save, and then you compress, save as compressed, and then you come up with the same parameters. I'm not going to do it again now, but that's basically the second way how you can resave, either using the outer loader in the beginning, to choose it or just not resave at this point and then later on maybe select a subset and resave them then. Okay, thanks so much.